What's up, Reap Squad? Welcome back to Grandma Watch, baby. We here with another video, another reaction at that. It's gonna be Jubilee. I'm ready to get it. I want y'all to join in. So let's get the reaping, baby. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda saw this video already just because I really like Jubilee. So, you know, but that doesn't mean I remember them. So they're great. I remember parts, but a lot of time I watch things as if I never seen them before. So let's get the reaping, baby. And as you as a parent ch train that child, then more freedom should be granted to make their own decisions. But it I don't should think be we should train our children. I feel like you train a dog and not a kid. I think train is a good word. I don't want to train. I, I definitely already disagree with that statement. And we got only 12 seconds in. Um, I believe everyone is trained and programmed. To say otherwise is barbaric. We all need discipline, structure, and organization to make our life better and to also make our children adult life is better because when we let them run crazy, you know, we don't allow them to see like, hey, there's consequences to your actions. You could do whatever you want, but at the end of the day, there's still consequences to your actions. So if you also want to be a good person there's values that line up with certain actions whether you want to do it or not so i don't know i i just want to hear what this guy said train child okay well i do maryland parents are accused of child neglect after allowing their two kids to walk home alone from a park about a mile away when you hear the term free range parent what do you think of i see a wide range within free range parenting but parents that basically let their kids do whatever they want, and I see that as a recipe for disaster. When I think of a strict parent, I think of someone who might be more concerned with the behavior of the child than the heart of the child. I actually do consider myself strict, but I want to be emotionally conscious. We've been told by this oppressive, safety-obsessed, terrified society that you can never let your kid do anything on their own, maybe till they're like 36. <laughs> It's a luxury to be a free-range parent because there is a certain privilege that goes with that. Being a strict parent, I think, first of all, I imagine stress. It should be a really fun time of your life. Why follow all these rules when you want to enjoy your kids? Hi, I'm Hal Chafee. Um, I have five kids. Uh, I'm a minister, and we live in Maryland. I'm Christian. I definitely feel like there's a certain level of um, of freedom you should allow children because at the end of the day, they are children. They're not going to always know like right and wrong. So that's when parenting comes into effect. Yes, you have the right to be a child, have fun, you know, jump around, get dirty, you know, play in mud. But there's going to be times and places for that, and you'll know when to have that time and when to have that place. I feel as though a lot of people already kind of focus on the wrong things anyway with that, so, yeah. Children should be trusted to make their own decisions. <laughs> so of course children should make their own decisions. I mean, we're trying to raise them to be responsible adults. If they don't make decisions, they never learn. When my child is possibly gonna make a bad decision, uh -huh. what I wanna do is not tell him it's a bad decision. I think that's the wrong thing to do because then ultimately he's probably gonna reject that anyway. Um, also, it depends. I mean, if you don't tell your child it's a bad decision, how are you supposed to know it's a bad decision? I'm just saying, you know, like, with kids, you have to make it make sense as well because they're, at the end of the day, kids could be irrational, but they're very logical um, at times. So if you make it make sense, like, hey, you know, if you touch this, this is hot. So it will burn you, and it's going to hurt. And when it hurts, it's going to cause a sore. You know, you break that down, and they say, oh, God, I don't want that. You know, so there's they they're, – they're, they're not supposed to make certain choices. That's what parenting is about on what we're talking about decisions about like if it's bedtime and you want your kids to be in bed at eight o'clock i think that is up to you but i remember a time let me say this though i don't want people to assume i just have children and i know i don't have any kids 
Um, I've been around children my whole life, and to say that I witnessed multiple types of parenting, and every type of parenting had different types of outcome. And as a person that don't have children, I got to watch the literal growth and structure of each parenting style and see the outcome of their children as adults. And a lot of those lifestyles and parenting styles, I chose not to use. Some of those I will choose to use in the future. But I think rather than people judge the people that don't have kids, realize the people that don't have kids have a certain kind of knowledge about kids that a parent might not see because their their whole world revolves around their kid. You know, they so it's only their way or no way. So we have to understand that, hey, there is other ways and there's other ways that, you know, I've seen and it worked and there's ways that I've seen that didn't work. You know, there's ways that I've seen where the child grows up and have uh, a baby at a young age before that legal age of, you know, leaving a household. And I saw a family, uh, I mean, and I saw a child grow up to get married and still yet have a child, you know, and all at appropriate ages. Um, and when I say appropriate, I mean societal standards of where a person should be in life. And, you know, these people have followed those. And based off the parenting style, those were, you know, so far accurate for that child, but also know your child. I don't know, so I don't want to go to rant. I don't. My son called me, he was 10 at the time, and he said, Mom, can I have another piece of banana bread? And I thought, <laughs> I, felt, I felt bad, because of course, that's a very simple decision. They expected that I was the one to decide almost everything about what they were eating and doing, and I felt like there was something wrong, and that actually started me reevaluating things. Can, can they climb the tree? Just let them climb the tree. And what's the worst that can happen? They break an arm? Right. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> they break an arm? Oh well. <laughs> well for my kid specifically, she can go outside and play after school and she can wow. draw and she can do whatever, but there is a very healthy boundary like we don't have the type of health care that most people have. So like, no, you can't climb a tree. If it's like, oh, I don't want to play violin anymore, but it's like, you can't, you're not allowed to quit things that you start because even as an adult, you become a flaky adult. Well, you see so many parents nowadays who just like bend to every whim of their child. Children should be trusted to make their own decisions when it is wise for them to make their own decisions. You know, I'm not gonna let my five-year-old decide that he's not going to brush his teeth anymore because he no, doesn't no. you know as the child grows and as you as a parent so far i'm like in a hundred percent agreeance with the way this guy raises his child so i don't disagree with anything train that child then more freedom should be granted to make their own decisions yeah. but it I don't should think be we a should train. train our children i feel like you train a dog and not a kid i think train is a good word i don't want to like, train child okay well I'd, i'm gonna be I mean, if I'm going to be real, I didn't see those free-range parenting styles go array in public spaces causing chaos, uncomfortable workplaces, and uh, just a, a chaotic environment simply because they want their child to do whatever they want. And it's like, okay, that's cool if that's in your house. But when they're in public spaces, they have to respect and be considerate. So are you teaching your child freedom or are you teaching your child to also be considerate with his freedom or their freedom? So, yeah, I don't like the way that they answer that. I do. I want, I want a child my, I want my who child has to be trained Because be. I didn't see dogs way more well-behaved than I saw children. Like, <laughs> I trained my dog to pray before she eats. Like, they're... I don't even pray before I eat. Let me say that. <laughs> I don't even pray before I eat. And I, turn, and I train my dog to do that, you know? So I don't know. And he's maybe not like me. You know? Yeah, I'm not right, saying it's to be yeah. like me. Do you think you need to train them to be respectful? Or do you think that you guide them in a way to learn to be respectful because of the decisions they've chosen? Both. So what would you consider your parenting style to be? I try to be as biblical as I can when it comes to parenting. I know a lot. That's where he and I disagree, because I'm not a biblical person. Um, but 
I do take certain important values um, that I agree with um, from different religions. Sorry, guys. My mic is, like, acting weird, so I've been dabbling with it. But, yeah, so that's where he and I disengaged because I'm not a Christian Baptist or anything like that. I would say, if anything, the most I identify with is, like, sorcery or something or which or voodoo something you know something along those lines if if you were to make a list of everything i believe in and categorize it and you would see the, the majority of the things i believe in might find might fall primarily into the witch and magic side so i don't know a lot of people would disagree on that but I have five kids and I, I do my best to follow it and I found so much wisdom and it's worked. I don't really follow rules, even if it's a, a theory of free range parenting per se. If you're following those free range parenting rules, then you. you Let's go to the privacy. Let's get straight to it. The kids deserve privacy. Oh, um. Uh, I'm going to answer this question before it gets on. I think kids deserve a certain level of privacy. Um, but I don't think they deserve complete 100% privacy. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, take, oh, wait, there wait, we wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, we have a straggler. Even though they're not adults, they're still people, and they need time to either hear their thoughts or process things, or just they need a sense of comfort and solitude and things that are, are sacred to them. So I, I don't have any teenagers yet. There's no way. <laughs> Just there's no, wait. <laughs> yeah. There's no maybe, way. Maybe I'm, my opinion will change. I mean, there's no way that I'm not going to have access to their cell phone. That that's mm -hmm. not going to happen. But if they want time alone, I, I think that's fine, and they should have that, and it's healthy to do that. Mm -hmm. The reason I hesitated is because I think back to my childhood. Uh -huh. There were things that happened sometimes that can last with you for the rest of your life. You know, people can be abused online now. So I, when I have that parent spidey sense of something's not right here, and my, my kid's gonna be like, no, you can't have my cell phone. Yes, I can. In our household, like, we I live by bills. this kind of thought. Live your life in such a way that if everyone could see what you're doing in private, that you wouldn't be ashamed. So you can, so my kids also look through my phone. Privacy is not something a child should be entitled to have. Do we give our kids quiet downtime? Yes. Am I looking through all their stuff? No. Um, I actually agree with the <laughs> definition of downtime and privacy. At my house, there's no privacy because you don't pay any bills. Definitely. She also trusts me and I've like wanted to make a too. relationship to where she trusts me that even if she came to tell me like there's no yell, I don't yell and I don't scream and I don't do any things like that. We're very open, but there is no privacy. So I just wanted to put in a plea though for some privacy. You know, I go around and I talk about free range kids and sometimes what I ask the audience is to tell me when something did go wrong. And I ask them, did you tell your parents? What do you think they said? No. no. Why do you think they said it? Fear. Fear. Fear, Fear of what? Being in trouble. Being, yeah. You think it's trouble. They said they didn't want their freedom taken away. I think it's important though that we hold our children accountable because in the world, there are plenty of adults who are not held accountable, who've never been held accountable, and they just do things that are terrible. But most of childhood is little things, and you don't have to be there for everyone because that's when kids start realizing, I can handle this. When you hear the term free range parent, what do you think of? Uh, privilege, mm -hmm. um, the ability to just do things without any repercussions or consequences. As a black person or a person of color, we sometimes just don't have the privilege to allow our children to be free range. Although I would love for her to be free spirit and just do and we be, she can't privilege. because black kids get murdered in the street. Parents should be parents and not friends. Ooh, that's a juicy topic right there. Of course, they're free <laughs> No, parents. this is a hard, this is, this is actually hard like, for me. My job different. is not to be my kid's friend, it's to be their parent. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that is mutually exclusive of not being their friend either, if that makes any sense. But I, I prioritize, right, being the parent, parental unit. Me and my mom, I would say that she's my best friend. But like as, as a child, it was, she was my mom. And exactly. I hope to have that type of relationship with my daughter. But right now I'm the parent and you're the child because I don't want you to lose respect for me. 
Like, I'm not gonna go clubbing with my daughter. Like, there's just some things that I'm just not gonna do, that I do with yeah. my friends, that I'm not gonna do with my kid. But like, what these free range parents are like failing to understand is that not putting those accountabilities or, or structure can cause issues in, into other spaces whether it's business, basically it can be an obstacle you're, you're unintentionally placing in your child's future because they develop behaviors that is not professionally or societally, I'm, I'm sure I said that wrong, uh, socially, <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but there's things that they won't be doing socially accurate, accurate or because you wanted to coddle that child and make them feel as though everything is peaches and creams, but we just simply don't live in that world. You know, as much as we we want to, we don't, because we have people that don't want that world and want, you know, chaos, you know, and, and destruction. So you have to prepare. The job of a parent is to prepare and and I want what's the word of like strapping your child up and getting ready like like giving them all the tools that they need to survive in this life that you put them here for so it's your duty and responsibility to prepare them for the world that you just pushed them into so I feel as though to play nice guy or Peaches and cream is overall unintentionally hindering the child's growth and success path. I agree that I'm their mom first, but I'm also their friend. I'm also someone that they trust and admire and they come to and I listen to them and I give them my opinions and we have forged a friendship, but it's not without my position as the authority in their life, their pro provider, their comfort, their mama. In my mind, once my kids are 18, or let's just say moved out of the house, they are an adult. And at that point, I wanna stop parenting. If I haven't parented enough by the time they're 18, then, I sh then that was my chance. I don't wanna be a parent after 18. And when it comes to clubbing, I hope <laughs> that when my kid is old and grown up and they're going out for a beer at a bar or whatever they're doing, of course I want to come with them. But here's Done. the thing, I just want to stand the other side of that, is that it's we cool never cool stop cool. growing up. I mean, I'm man, I don't have I'm parents. I wish I did. There's some times where I just, I wish I could just ask for help. I mean, my grandmother just passed away in May. And I remember like, just feeling like, what am I gonna do? And, and that was not a friend moment, that was, me hiding like a little she child on her lap, like weeping and crying. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, Juby must was thinking what I was about to think, like, skip past the crying part. Granted, I feel for her, but we're just talking about parenting. No one died. And needing that. You, I guess you I don't are gonna want do that. that. No, you're gonna do that. I want, if your kid I want comes my, to you, I'm of sure. Of course. You will. I guess I just you want will. this. Right. Sorry if that was dark, people, but hey, this is Grimwatch for a reason. It gets dark over here. <laughs> you know, I want them to be very independent. Right, and, right, right, but you can strong. be very I independent. There's the, feel... She's super yeah, independent. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. With your own mother, do you have a mother? And if you do, yeah. do you ever just need your mama sometimes? Do you ever just... Not really. You don't no. need to, like, no. get hugged From, or have, I, like, I speak to her comfort. like she's my friend. Okay. Now. And I think I spoke to her as my friend when I was growing up as well, because she never, she didn't parent. I had no rules. And that's, so that but explains a lot yeah. when you talk about yeah. your philosophy. And that's cool that she had a good outcome. Um, and I guess that's her mother knowing her child. Like I said, it's about also knowing your child. So if she knew she still had the capacity to navigate in this world, um, with the structure of free range, I mean not structure, the free range lifestyle, um, maybe it did it well for her, you know, um, but in today's world, raising a child um, with so much pressure and 
immediate validation and um, so much instant gratification that it can it can cause a hindrance. Um, I can see that because I don't know. I've seen so many just a structureless life become so uh, for the child, anyways. Like I watched it, and it's it never ends as well as people think it does. Uh, but in some few cases, which is the exception to the rules, sometimes it does. All right, we're 20 minutes in. Let me, let's keep reaping, y'all. All right, let's keep reaping. It's really a firsthand account where maybe some of the rest of us are like exploring how we might want to parent. Right, but we all raise our children probably according to a little bit of how we, what we, know. we were raised. What we know, what we wished had been different. Yeah. And then there's so many societal influences. Sure. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You mentioned before you were kind of facing everything on your own. <clears throat> No. Well, we don't have to, you guys don't have to participate in the conversation. Spanking your child is an acceptable form of punishment. Mm. What? <laughs> I don't want to get involved at all. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think this is where I might lose people. For me, I believe growing up being spanked myself, I believe that spanking as a last resort is okay. Um, that's if your child understands something is being wrong or, and is constantly being corrected verbally or via things being taken from them and is still being repeated, that's when there's a spanking involved, you know, especially if the understanding is there. So now I have to approve violence. We didn't, like at the end of the day, we didn't get, you know, freedom for you know rolling over and laying down there was the civil rights movement you know and then the the uh, civil war you know and there's been vast majority of wars being fought for freedom you know so to get things done at the end of the day sometimes if the the voices and the marches don't work sometimes you have to uh, you know resort to violence in a sense of you know, like the wars we had through history. So for someone to say that's wrong and uh, outrageous is history has proven that that is the route that gets things accomplished. Hence why we have the U.S., you know. People came over here and completely taken over and with violence, and now we have the U.S., and everyone's benefited off of this everyone the entire world is benefiting off of the brutality that the u.s put upon the original people on this land so if that's okay correcting a minor issue with your child that's something that's not even abuse or brutal should be okay you know, only if it's a last resort kind of thing. Like, look, I'm going to pop you. I'm not talking abuse or, you know, anything graphic. I'm just saying, like, a, a spanking here and there every blue moon. But if you're raising your child properly, you shouldn't even run into this issue. Do we have to? No, we don't have to do it at all. I, I don't even want to so stand open. back here. No. <laughs> well, we don't have to, you guys don't have to participate in the conversation whatsoever. But is it going to show our position, like standing back or sitting? Yes. We do see you guys in the background, but we just want to hear his perspective. Then people can walk forward. But if you don't want to participate in the conversation whatsoever, you don't have to. Well, yeah, so I'm kind of saddened that nobody else walked forward because not only do I think it's an acceptable form of punishment, but I think it's one of the best. And the reason is, is because it's effective, it it's quick, it's over, it's done, and the kid can go off and play again and not have to sit in a corner or languish in a room or something like that. And it's not about getting angry, I'm mad, I'm gonna whack my kid. No, it's about, right. okay, you, made, you did something you weren't supposed to do, and you're going to get spanked for this. I don't so I'm gonna think ask any of my first. disagreeers who wish to step forward to talk about this, please do. If you wish not to step forward, you don't have to on the hand and hitting himself and to talk about this please do if you wish not to step forward you don't have to sorry yes 
the, the specific anecdote I have is um, for my child is one time, like, you know, as a, as a parent, you can lose your patience and that happens. We would just kind of like slap him on the hand when he did something like, don't do that, don't do that. And I remember one time he did something and he started to become more self-aware and he started hitting himself on the hand and hitting himself. And I was like, I, I can't do this. Is, I can't, I, we can't go down this path with him. This is not gonna work for, at least specifically for him. And, and it, I think it's okay, a case by case basis too. Like, you know, you've led your kids in a way that hopefully he doesn't lash out into the real world. I don't want him to react like that to someone else either. And I just feel like that's my responsibility, so. Yeah, and you know, I, I hear that op opponents to spanking will say, I don't want my child to be violent. Yeah. You know, I have five kids, 10 and under, and I, the exact opposite is true. Because do you think it's a bad memory for them? What's that? Do you think you know, that they're going to have memories of these times being spanked and that it will be something that they... Sure, and I think they'll be they... thankful for it. I would do, because I... I, saw I mean, I, I would be lying if I said I never have spanked my child, of okay. course, we, but I don't ever, I don't, don't feel good about it. Yeah. Don't you want... I'm glad she admitted that she spanks her child, because at the end of the day, she understands that it's something that has to be done if it has to be done. You want to raise your child to not want to do things because they feel as if they'll be a better person, not because they're going to be punished for yeah, it? Yeah, both. See, this is hard for me to understand because I come from a culture where everyone, like all my friends have loving parents that spank them as kids, and now they've grown up to be great functional, well-functional adults exactly. who respect their parents and are glad their parents spanked them. Okay, I'm just going to tell, say my, my view. Mm -hmm. So. I don't spank my child, one, because of child slavery and Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. I'm a black person and I live in a world where black people are beaten all the time. I have a mother who spanked me. Mm -hmm. I do, I'm not glad that I was spanked. Mm -hmm. I respect her, but I'm not happy about that. Also the same thing with the people who are like, I was spanked, I came out great. They usually have like anger issues, they're violent, they whip their own kids, they probably need therapy. Usually they don't even... Honestly, I feel like that's a big assumption on her end um, when it comes to people who say that because I know plenty of people um, who's been spanking um, and those, there's been some that's okay and some that isn't okay, but it had nothing to do with the spanking. It had everything to do with the style of parenting and the like over strict parents or the two under strict parents like you have to have a medium you have to have a middle <laughs> middle ground you know um you can't be too strict because i saw that go go crazy and lead to underage uh, pregnancies but you can't be too lenient um because i saw that lead to underage pregnancies and their child go crazy so there has to be a middle ground, you know, and a, a balance and understanding between you and your children. I don't even realize how emotionally fucked up they are. Well, you got to understand, parenting is more than just I spank or I don't spank. If you're a terrible parent and you think that spanking is going to fix your kid, you're wrong. Exactly. I sometimes fear I am raising my children the wrong way. All right, guys. If you want to finish watching the video, it's down below. This video was good. Um, I love, love learning about people's, uh, their overall parenting style because it gives me an idea of the, it, it helps me create my own version of how I would parent. Um, but I know no one's ever prepared. No one's ever ready for children. Children is crazy. It's ups and downs, sleepless nights, long hours. And at the end of the day, it's still amazing. It's still something beautiful. And it's still something I want to experience, um, you know. And I feel as though people need to be open to uh, different types of styles because you never know what kind of relationship would develop between you and your child if you try something that that's new if what you're doing isn't working. And I feel like that throughout anything in life. If something isn't working and whatever it is that you're trying to do, try a new method. And if you don't know a new method, go research a new method. Go try something you would never try in a million years. You know, like, it's okay to try new things. And people think just trying new things is food or going places, and it's no. Trying new things is also trying a new way of thinking, finding new perspectives, finding new ideas, finding new thoughts. But at the end of the day, let's keep it reaping. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night. 
We're gonna do another Grim Watch. With, um, what was it bedtime with Grim? We're gonna do another video. Subscribe, download, like the video. Make sure, make sure for algorithm purposes that you watch my video through. You know, I'm I'm a weird guy, so sometimes I have random outbursts. You never know what you're gonna see. Um, and I try not to edit anything just so you get the raw footage of me. It's 2.30 in the morning, so I look like this because I'm tired. <laughs> I've been working all day, working some more, and I'm debating if I'm about to go back out and work or if I'm about to go to sleep. So keep reaping, baby. Y'all have a good one. Turn up. Ah.